Hello, I'm Linda Cambeek. Today we are going to continue with our examination of how to spot Lucifer, the devil, during the 1,335 days of the end of the days, or the Great Tribulation. God restricted how Lucifer can manifest himself during different ages. Otherwise, Lucifer would have simply overwhelmed mankind. In heaven, Lucifer was alive and in the flesh. You could see him, you could touch him, talk to him. He had freedom to roam heaven. But in Bible times, even today, Lucifer only appeared alive and in the flesh when he was with Jesus tempting him in the desert and when he was contending over Moses' body. Most of the time, Lucifer worked in the Bible times, as he does today, as an evil influence through people. And coming very soon, during the 1,335 days, Lucifer will initially work through human surrogates as an evil puppet master. Two-thirds of the way into the 1,335 days, Lucifer will masquerade as Jesus himself. So what will Lucifer the devil be doing during the 1,335 days of the Great Tribulation, the end of the days? What are Lucifer's tactics? Lucifer will initially employ surrogates to carry out his evil orders, like he did in Bible times. Let's look an example of one surrogate. And the dragon, that is the devil, stood before the woman who was ready to give birth, to devour her child, to kill Jesus, as soon as it was born. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, Jesus and wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. In Matthew 2, 16 through 18, we find that King Herod orders the killing of all the male children two years old and under in the town of Bethlehem. And another sign appeared in heaven, a great fiery red dragon, the devil. And the dragon stood before the woman who was ready to give birth, to devour or kill her child as soon as it was born. Now Herod ordered the killing of all the male children under two years of age in Bethlehem. But was it really King Herod's idea? Or did someone else plant that idea? The devil used King Herod as his hitman, his surrogate, to try to kill the baby Jesus before he could accomplish his mission to save mankind. Here is how the devil uses surrogates to achieve his evil actions. So here's the devil behind the scenes, and he whispers into King Herod's ear that the baby Jesus is to be killed. And the devil surrogate carries out his orders, sending his army into the little town of Bethlehem, and all the babies under two years old are killed. Innocent babies. Can you imagine that? Let's look at another surrogate in Revelation 13, the beast from the sea. Then I stood on the sand of the sea, and I saw a beast, which we'll call the sea beast, 
rising up out of the sea, having seven heads and ten horns, and on his horns ten crowns, and on his heads a blasphemous name. Here's the devil, the dragon, the puppet master behind the scenes. And so they worship the dragon who gave authority to the sea beast. The devil is giving authority to this sea beast and the sea beast becomes the devil's surrogate. Notice that there are seven blasphemous heads on this sea beast. This is also called Babylon later in Revelation. And remember, this is a symbolic beast. Actually, the seven heads, because they all had blasphemous names on them, represent religions, seven global religions. One of them was healed. But these became the devil's surrogates. Remember, they are also called Babylon. The Great Tribulation, the end of the days, is exactly 1,335 days long. Notice that the sea beast and the land beast that we've talked about come fairly close to the beginning of the 1,335 days. And he, the sea beast, was given a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies. And he was given authority to continue for 42 months, 1,260 days. Then I saw another beast, the devil, coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. Here's the devil. Later, the devil will impersonate Jesus. And when he appears, he performs signs and even makes fire to come down from heaven, like Elijah did on Mount Carmel. He deceives those on the earth by the signs which he was granted by God to do in the sight of this sea beast. There he is. He looks like a lamb, but he isn't quite a lamb. Remember, this is a symbolic beast. This beast is a caricature of how the devil will act when he is impersonating Jesus. First, the lamb-like beast during the fifth trumpet. He will be kind. He will be healing. He will show himself to be gracious. And then the dragon-like in the sixth trumpet will come. But he's going to look like this. Can you believe it? The devil will majestically impersonate Jesus. And if possible, by the signs and wonders that he performs and his wonderful countenance, he will deceive even the very elect. Let's look again at our tribulation map. At about day 880, or two-thirds of the way in, Lucifer comes to impersonate Jesus. This is a caricature of how the devil will act when he is alive impersonating Jesus. And he, the devil, deceives those who dwell on the earth by those signs which he was granted by God to do in the sight of the sea beast, telling those who dwell on the earth to make an image to him, the earth beast, the devil. So here is he, acting like Jesus. Remember, Lucifer wants to be King of Kings and Lord of Lords. He said in Isaiah, I will raise my throne above the stars of God. 
I will be like the Most High. And he orders an image, a theocracy on earth, to be created to him. Now, that made Lucifer the head of the government. And Lucifer is also head of the church. So that makes Lucifer's word law. There is no supreme court that can overturn Lucifer's word. And this is the image to the beast. And he, the devil, had two horns like a lamb and spoke like a dragon. His personality at first is lamb-like, that's the fifth trumpet, and then dragon-like at the sixth trumpet. This earth's beast is very symbolic. Satan majestically impersonates Jesus. For the first five months, he will be kind like Jesus. He will allow all religions. He will provide food and anything else the people may need. But he is still the devil. And then when the trumpet sounds, he becomes dragon-like. He sets up this theocracy, an image to himself. And he becomes an evil dictator. He dissolves all religions, saying, when God is on earth, I'm the only one to be worshipped. He assigns ten kings as managers over the whole world. He imposes the mark of the beast, the 666, and orders that all of his enemies should be killed. And that's one-third of the earth's population. Now the devil is acting like the devil. Did you know that people will voluntarily sign up for the mark of the beast, the 666? They will do it just to stay alive. Let's look at a summary of Lucifer in the 1,335 days. For about two-thirds of the end of the days, the devil will not be visible or appear to anyone on earth. He will be the puppet master behind the scenes, controlling things. He will cause many evil things to occur, including martyrs. Lucifer is described in Revelation 13 as the beast from the earth with two different personalities. First lamb-like, and then dragon-like. At the fifth trumpet, the devil will appear alive and in person on earth, acting lamb-like. Lucifer the devil will majestically impersonate Jesus and be able to fool most people. At the sixth trumpet, Lucifer's personality will drastically change into a dragon-like demeanor. As a stern-faced king, that's what Daniel called him, he will set up a theocracy where he rules like a wicked dictator. Lucifer the devil will issue an order to kill all his non-supporters. That's about one-third of the Earth's population, his enemies. The 666 mark of the beast will be issued for those wanting the necessities of life. That is food, water, medicine, gas, and so forth. Watch for other Bible studies that will examine the sea beast, and the land beast in greater detail. Now, I have a question for you. Do you want to know more about the 1,335 days of the Great Tribulation? 
Please let us know your feelings by leaving a comment below or sending us an email. Thank you. Keep studying your Bible. It is your guide, your map, to recognizing Satan's activities. Earth's time is running out. Jesus is coming very soon. May God bless you and your family.